Hey, Lorraine Purcell here. Welcome to Fairy Godmother Monday. Just finishing sorting the rose hips for my tea. So if you don't mind just being with me for a few minutes while I do that. I'm having so much interesting light issues. Hi Hari. So many I have I have been uh really watching the honey with the heat since you mentioned that to me. I'm so thankful, Hari, that you told me about that. Um I looked it up on the internet, and you're right. Absolutely. <laughs> Not supposed to put honey in hot stuff. Yes, 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 absolutely. I have no, I have been cooling my tea to lukewarm before I put in the honey. So I'm so thankful that you shared that with me, with us. How are things? You're in India, right, Hari? Super tedious now. Hang on a second. Uh, it right, yes. Yeah, you're in um, you're in India. I, that's what I'm assuming. Is that correct? So I I just figured out a way to make the water lukewarm. Don't make the water so hot. And then add cold water. Okay, great. So it's still a little too hot to put the honey in. Shoot. <laughs> put in too much hot. All right, so I guess I'll come back and check in a few minutes. So we just did our morning meditation. So let's just drop in and see what wants to show up. Yeah, I, um, hi Mary, I don't eat anything fried. So are you talking about like barbecued meat and that sort of thing that's got got black spots on it? Yeah, I don't eat any of that. So, yes, yes, yes. All right, so let's hope that doesn't fall down. So welcome to Fairy Godmother Monday. I am your Fairy Godmother. I got to find my wands. Let's see, where are my wands? I think they're on my desk. Here they are. I'm still getting used to, uh, hi, Rosa Maria. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Um, so, yeah, with the new meditations every day and getting them ready for Instagram, Martha is putting them up on IGTV. Um, so you're welcome to see them over there. Hi, Vicki. Uh, so downloading them, getting them up to YouTube, getting the descriptions written, you know, lots of new things. So I'm a little discombobulated and I'm in a new room. So this is not where I normally have been. Um, so here are my wands. So this is the day where I help you make your own dreams come true. I want to get a little backlighting going. Oh, gosh. So, um, yes, I am a very big student of quantum mechanics. 
And the quantum field, qu laws of quantum mechanics are always in, in effect. We just um, usually don't pay attention because we, we're not aware. And so what I do on Fairy Godmother Monday is I, I show you how to practice quantum mechanics working for you and not the other way around. We don't want that. So, um, you know, people say, how did this happen? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want this, but it's because you were focusing on the thing you didn't want. So it's what we focus on expands. And so what is that thing that you are desiring? Now I have gone from material things. I, I do desire to have a house paid in full. Definitely. That's a desire. But other than that, I, I just want to do good for the world and I just want peace and happiness, nothing else. Uh, and because things don't make us happy, they wear, the novelty wears off and then that's gone. But if, if that's what you want, by all means, you know, you can focus on that and you can bring that into your reality, certainly. Oh yeah, this big crystal, I love this guy. He's right here. Um, so it is, we have to be aligned first for anything to work in the quantum field. Well, it can work, but I mean, for it to work for good, we have to be aligned. We have to be in um, sync with ourselves. And so that's what we do We here. We get in sync with ourselves. We get back home to ourselves. And uh, we take that energy and that aligned energy and we um, just share it. High honesty. So let's just start by taking a few deep breaths. And we're going to ground to Mother Earth and get Mother Earth's message for us. Find what she requires of us today. Feel your connection to everything. Feel your connection to everything that you desire. If you desire it, the desire has been given you, given to you by source. And so we can just feel one with source and then we are one with the thing. And what starts to happen is you start to feel so good that it doesn't even matter if you get the thing or not. You just feel good. You just feel good and happy. So, yes. So just come into a space of thankfulness with your heart, your hands on your heart. And just say thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. And just let that thankfulness just emanate out of you. Just cover every cell of your body and then it just starts to expand, going out, going out. Mother Earth says, feed your soul needs and be still self-love and hydrate oh great hi charlie nice to see you um so good vicky's already you know beat us to the chase she's already down there checking in with mother earth so let's check in with mother earth what is mother earth's message to you and what does she require of you today and mother earth i love you i love you i love you i feel your human waves i feel them resonating with my heartbeat all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. What do you require of me today? What can I do for you today, Mother Earth? And she just said, be in stillness. Wow. So being in stillness will serve Mother Earth. Do you get that?
pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Hmm. What is your message for me today? Her message to me is to step aside. In other words, don't use my strength. Just use um, the strength of source for everything I do. Yeah, not my own energy. That's been my really solid prayer lately. I don't want anything to just be my energy. I want it to be source's energy working through me so that I've leveraged the universe That is so amazing, Becky. I love that. I love that. There was something I was going to share with you guys. Let's see if I can find it. Is it this? So get your comments in there for what Mother Earth is saying to you. If you have bad feelings in you, just let them move through. Emotions are energy in motion. Let them move through you. And get back to feeling good. This is from the Game of Life and How to Play It. It is safe to say that all sickness and unhappiness come from the violation of the law of love. A new commandment I give unto you, love one another. And in the Game of Life, love or goodwill takes every trick. That's all we have to do. That's what I'm just learning. It's all we have to do is just come back to love. Just come back to love. Just come back to it. It's the cure for illness. It's the cure for disharmony. It's the cure for everything. Listen to this. Man's only enemies are within himself, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Personality is one of the last enemies to be overcome as this planet is taking its initiation in love. And this was written a hundred years ago. It was Christ's message, peace on earth, goodwill toward men, the enlightened man, therefore, endeavors to perfect himself upon his neighbor. 
His work is with himself to send out goodwill and blessings to every man. This is our practice. This is our practice. This is our spiritual practice. Send goodwill and love out to every man. The people you might consider to be your enemies. I don't consider anyone to be my enemy anymore. But political leaders that you don't agree with, you send love to them. You send love to them. We, it is not our place to judge. We have no idea what it's like to be in their shoes and to do what they're doing. Um, the enlightened man, therefore, endeavors to perfect himself upon his neighbor. His work is with himself to send out goodwill and blessings to every man. And the marvelous thing is that if one blesses man, he has no power to harm him. I really believe this. I really do. I'm going to read this little story. It's, it's interesting. For example, a man came to me asking to treat for success in business. He was selling machinery and a rival appeared on the scene with what he proclaimed was a better machine. And my friend feared defeat. I said, first of all, we must wipe out all fear and know that God protects your interests and that the divine idea must come out of the situation. That is, the right machine will be sold by the right man to the right man. And I added, don't hold one critical thought toward that man. Don't hold one critical thought toward that man. Don't hold one critical thought toward that man. I'm talking to myself. Don't hold one critical thought toward anybody. anybody. Bless him all day and be willing not to sell your machine if it's the divine idea. So he went to the meeting fearless and non-resistant. Do you hear that word? Non-resistant. And blessing the other man. He said that the outcome was very remarkable. The other man's machine refused to work and he sold his without the slightest difficulty. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. I'm going to read that again. That's a mouthful. I want you to be scanning your life and your situation right now as I read this. But I say unto you, Love your enemies. This is Jesus. Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. So who do you need to bless all day long? Who do you need to send blessings to all day long? This is what Mother Earth said to me. Stay out of the way. Step down. Step aside. That's my personality getting out of the picture so that Christ can shine through me. Christ, Buddha, Allah, whatever your belief is. Buddha, Allah, Shiva, I think it might be for you. Um, Hari, I'm not sure. Don't mean to be stereotypical. Goodwill produces a great aura of protection about the one who sends it, and no weapon that has formed against him shall prosper. In other words, love and goodwill destroy the enemies within oneself. Therefore, one has no enemies on the external. Ah, I just got that on a deeper level. Therefore, no one has any enemies on the external. They're all internal by how, whether we bless people or we don't. There is peace on earth for him who sends goodwill toward men. And that's all I want is that, really honestly. Because in that, everything else will be brought to us. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That's his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. Okay, I'm going to go take you into the kitchen and 
put honey in my tea because I'm feeling just a little sleepy. Been kind of awake since almost three, which is insanely early, but um, I've been trying to get at least between 10 and 2, 10 p.m. and 2 a.m., get my, my solid sleep because that's when the body's healing and repairing. And then, okay, it's lukewarm now. Gosh, I just can't get the light right. I don't know, did something change? I don't know. Oh well. I'm illuminated. So for those of you who weren't here yesterday, okay, this is important. Hari saw me putting, uh, I guess it was two days ago now, Hari saw me putting honey into my hot tea. And he said, no, 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 don't do that. Hari is from India, by the way. And um, he said, you have to wait till your, your tea is lukewarm. And I looked it up on the internet, and sure enough, it turns uh, honey toxic if you put it in hot or if you heat it. So I have been waiting for my tea to get lukewarm before I put in the honey. So I'm passing that on to you guys. Maybe you already knew that. I didn't. Or I might have a long time ago, but I sort of forgot it. You know, there are so many things that we can learn <laughs> that I think it just kind of rolls out of our head after a while. Oh, yes. So the whole goal, when, when Abraham says... There's nothing more important than that you feel good. This is it. This is the whole thing. There's nothing more important. There, that's better. Wow, put you in my cupboard. There's nothing more important than that you feel good. This is what it's all about. Feeling good. Oh, so good. So as long as we are feeling good and we're in this elevated emotion, our heart expands, it fills with blood, and it stimulates the thymus gland. This is from Dr. Joe Dispenza stimulates the thymus gland and which produces um, like a growth hormone or something like that. And normally the thymus gland starts decreasing production um, in our teens around puberty. So interesting. So by being in an elevated state, by feeling good, we're stimulating the thymus gland, which is underneath, oh, it's underneath our collar, our, our breastbone. Um, Dr. Sandy Bavacqua and I are going to start doing some videos together. I'm really excited. We're, we spent about an hour on the phone together yesterday. And, um, you know, she's a molecular biologist. And uh, we're just going to start <laughs> start doing some videos together. Um, so I'm really excited. I'll keep you guys posted on that. So it'll be a nice blend for me, you know, cause I'm, well, I'm not really scientific. I just, you know, do what I do, but she's definitely full on science. 
And um, so we're going to start doing messages together. Okay, so this is bringing in one cup at a time because so I'm super excited about that. You know, I get opportunities to work with lots of people because uh, I'd say every month for the last two years, mm, maybe not quite, maybe just the last year, I've had the opportunity to, the, the fortune, to be in these global summits. Um, and so I know a lot of people But there are only three who stand out to me that I, I want to share with you guys because I'm very protective of you guys. I'm like, if I ever share somebody with you, it's because I, I feel that it would totally benefit you and not be hype and not take you down some kind of trail. And Sandy is one. Sandy, Sarah Wayne, and Adrian Lauren. Out of all the people that I know, those are the three that I feel comfortable um, collaborating with. Because I, I just feel an energy from them that feels safe for you guys. And I like their messages, and I think they're um, they're beneficial for you. So tell me how you are. What's going on? It feels really quiet today. Is that just me? Now let's hope that just stays up there. Oh, you're gonna love her. She does a lot with pelvic health for both men and women. Um, yeah, she's, she's really something. Yeah. So just so you guys know, like, you know, when I'm invited to do these global summits, I, you know, I do share those with you guys. Um, but as far as collaboration and friendship, where I just feel like I really know these people and I really trust them, and I, 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 know, I trust all the people that I, that I work with and I do these collaborations with for these summits. But these three people, just for some reason, when I think about, because I'm not really a big marketing person, you know, I don't like the marketing hype. And so... Um, I don't know how to describe it. When I sat down about two or three months ago and I thought, of all the people I know, who do I feel comfortable collaborating with? And it was Sandy, it was Sarah, and Adrian. Mm. <laughs> so you guys can know if I share something with you, it's something that I really feel strongly about for you. Yeah, so we did Mother Earth. Who wants to else put... Mary, what did Mother Earth say to you? Honesty, what did Mother Earth say to you? Rike, is Rike still here? He was on the meditation. Rosa Maria was on the meditation too. So was Lynn. For those of you who don't know, every single day from 8 to 8.30, I do a... A meditation here so you're welcome to join us Vicki you're listening to your heart on these people absolutely I will do no, I refuse I refuse to uh, tap into my head and go on my own energy I just not -uh. I have to go by inspiration and being led
So um, let's see, Giselle, I'd love to hear what Mother Earth's saying to you. Mary, uh, Anna was on the meditation. I don't, I'm not sure she's here. But anyone who's here, I would love to hear what Mother Earth uh, is requiring of you today. If you don't hear anything, that's okay. Honesty, you too. Uh, that's okay. It's just something that with practice, uh, you start to really get her resonance and her personality and you start to get uh, a, a relationship with Mother Earth. So it's it's kind of fun. Rosa Maria, not sure what she said. Oh, good. I'm glad you're here, Rosa Maria. Yeah, and I appreciate that so much because sometimes, uh, you know, I feel that way too. Um, and it's just kind of, it shows up for me like a knowing, just like an inner knowing. Like it's just like a, like something just comes into focus for me. So Mary, I'd love to hear what, what she says to you. It always is something very wise that she says to you. I'm watching all the birds out the window playing. <laughs> hmm. So whatever her message is to you, it serves all of us. Mary, she says, relax. I had a wonderful day yesterday working with family outside and reignited my heart. And also meditate. Okay, wonderful. Very good. Very good. Okay, and I love that. Relax. So remember, as you put in the comments what Mother Earth says to you, um, it feeds all of us because they're universal languages. So let's come on back up. We're just going to align our bodies, just kind of scan through really quickly and just see uh, if there's something that needs adjusting, if something needs relaxing, if a muscle is in uh, relaxation. I've been hearing more and more that there is not one physical condition that isn't because of a mental start an emotional start and I've known this from the beginning I don't know how I knew it I just knew it from the beginning like if you have bitterness and re resentment and you're holding grudges I used to um, you get all kinds of ailments and the, the cure is always to just send blessings to the people that you don't like the people that you think don't get you the people you think have done you wrong you send blessings to them and you just stay in a, a space of open-heartedness. Otherwise, you are going to come down with something. It's just like clockwork. Yeah, Rosa Maria, that's okay. That's okay. You're just hanging out and, and doing this with us. I want to show you this sand dollar again. Isn't this like amazing? And then the back gets me. The back is um, just as intricate. Isn't that amazing? Like you can hold something like this and just appreciate Mother Nature and it just feeds you, just nourishes your cells. So perfect. Well, while I was asking her that, a good, here we go, a wild cat came over and I needed to feed him or her. Stolen four sardines from my mother, mother fridge. He, her, just came back now and sat in front of me. Isn't that sweet? Thank you for sharing that. These little things are so interesting and it's a wild cat, see? Uh, I think that when we are more and more aligned that animals and children are gravitated to us. <laughs> Very cute. Okay. So just check all your body for anything that might need aligning. Check in with your body. What does it need for you to eat more of and eat less of? And what does it want you to drink more of 
and drink less of. And it's just land on her heart. Hmm. <laughs> Vicky says she loves that about the wild cat. Vicky's a major animal person. I just say I love you, 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 my heart, I love you, my heart, I love you, my heart. I love you, my heart, I love you, my heart. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. In the meditation this morning, um, I invited everyone to be full of themselves. Mm, yeah, drink more water always. And just see what your heart has to say to you. What does your heart need from you? And I would love it if you would show that in the comments. What does your heart need more of? Mine's saying need more openness. My heart's saying I need it needs more openness. Instead of openness, it was opening. Interesting. Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you, 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 thank you. There is nothing more important than that you feel good. There is nothing more important than that you feel good. Thank you, 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 thank you. And being thankful for nothing. You know, just like nothing in particular, just just having thankfulness just swell your heart. That's a big key, I think. Reminder, this Saturday, Rosa <clears throat> Maria, I wanted to share the pic of him or her, but I can't shoot. Anyway, glad you appreciate it. Absolutely. Are you in your Great Big Life Facebook group, Rosa Maria? You can share it there. Um, if you're not a member of your Great Big Life Facebook group, you can go ahead and request to join. Um, and I'll approve you because I know you. Um, it's a sacred space. I don't think you're in there. It's a sacred space of sisters just supporting each other on their spiritual journey. No mean girls at all. And unfortunately, it's just for women. I've had men, many men request to join. And it's just a, a spot for women. Sorry. Um, but request to join your great big life. Your great big life. And it has a, a brown banner. 
Um, and we would love to see that kitty, Rosa Maria. Did you request to join and then post it in there? That would be awesome. Vicky, my heart needs to let go, even though I love... Yeah, I don't, I don't think you're in. Go ahead and request to join. Can you uh, search it right now? My heart needs to let go, even though I love so deeply. Never take anything personal of anybody and sending love to all. Gotta let, got to, to love me. Take care of me and sending peace to the universe. Yes. Vicki, I know this one. Like, I don't know anybody who's more loving than I am. Well, no, that's not true. There are a lot of people more loving than me, maybe. But um, I still, there's, there's just, it's never ending. The openness that we can get, um, we can get, there is just no ending to, to more opening. Rosemaria, you'll love that group. There's no politics. There's no selling. No criticism. It's awesome. It's a safe place for women to grow and expand and just be more of who they are. So, reminder, this coming Saturday uh, is the workshop, Answer the Call, uh, hearing what your soul invites you to do. And uh, it's a three-hour deep dive where we go deep into um, processes that I download on the spot for what the group's needing. And it's a three-hour deep dive. So if you want to just make sure you're always aligning with your soul, you're always hearing what your soul is inviting you to do, and you just fall in love with your soul to where you can't not follow your soul, and my invitation is for you to join us next Saturday. Uh, right now it's on early bird pricing. It's more than half off of its regular price, but that's going off on Wednesday. So if there's any kind of pull in you, to do this workshop with us. It's over live stream video, but you don't need to attend live um, because you'll be getting the video link um, as a part of my community. The other people who are attending do not get the video link. Only my community gets the video link. So um, the way you go there, okay, how do you say it's called? Yes, it's Your Great Big Life. Actually, any woman here is, is invited because you wouldn't be here if you weren't. I've, I'll write it in here, Rose Maria. Um, your great big life. Facebook group. Your great big life, yeah. There we go. Um, so, uh, I want to invite you to that workshop. You'll never be the same after a three, three hour deep dive on that. And, um, you know, if you are interested, if that does sound appealing to you, I recommend that you, I mean, you're just going to get the best price right now. Yes, your great big life. And you see a, it's a brown banner with a picture of me in the wind blowing my hair in the corner. Yeah, it just goes on, endless. So now let's go to our throat. No, let's go to our high heart. This is the thymus right here. Let's put our hand here and just see what it requires. It's telling me to do this. I just now put together why this is called the high heart, because that's where the thymus is. Okay, so what is your thymus telling you? I think it's saying jumping would be good, like on a trampoline. And then once you get that message, let's go to our throat. Put your hand on your throat. And what is the truth that your body wants you to step into? Your being, your soul. What is the truth that your soul wants you to step into?
What is the truth that your soul wants you to acknowledge and to walk more fully in? And I keep getting something like, it's nothing I can really put into a few words. Okay, I got trust about my books. Trust. Truth. Trust. Okay, then on up, I always like to put this in, that our, our mouths would only say beautiful things, that our ears would only hear the truth of our angels and our guides, that our eyes would only see what will serve us. And now what does your third eye want to say to you? What is your third eye trying to say to you? Third eye is just saying B. And I just see myself floating in the stream of well being. Take a moment to acknowledge all the well-being in your life. And then is there any message coming from your crown chakra for you? Now that we are aligned, Vicki, third eye says, be true to your soul. Very good, very good, very good. Now that we are aligned, we've got everything relaxed in our body. We know what our body wants from us. We know what Mother, Mother Earth is requiring of us. Now we're going to just hold our desire as if we are doing it now, as if we are in the middle of it doing it now. I'm holding the big crystal in one hand. Um, Crown says, stand tall and believe in you. I love that. Okay. Hold your desire. Mm. 
Mm. Feeling huge en energy right here on my thymus right now. Just feel it. You're in it now. You are doing it now. It's not in the future. It's not off in the future. It's right now. So be right here, right now. Feeling really good. Completely free of all grudges. Your heart is open and expanded and you're just in it now. You're in this expanded state, doing whatever it is you're doing, being with whoever it is you're with. Feel it, just bask in it. If you, if you want to do uh, anything, uh, you can uh, just imagine that you're resting in this pool of beautiful fresh water, and it's the stream of well-being, and you're just basking in the stream of well-being. Just feel it, feel it with your desire. The desire has been put there by God, by Allah song somewhere over the rainbow is going through my head very nice yes 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 now the trick is to just stay in this energy and sustain the energy not like working hard to keep your 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 um your vision in your mind and that kind of thing but just Relax into the feeling. Relax into the feel good. And just own this as your natural state. This is your natural state. There's nothing but the stream of well-being. Nothing but the stream of well-being. Just feel how wonderful that feels. Whatever desired feeling you have further down the road, just be in that feeling. Just be that feeling. Oh, I forgot about Rose. Where's Rose? Dreams really do come true. They do. They do. And it's only in the moment when we're feeling depressed and sad and discouraged that we think they don't. And the ones that don't, we're better off because they didn't. Vicki, wishing everybody's day peacefulness. Time to tend to my pups. Okay, Vic, thanks for being here. Love you. Mm. 
I just feel myself being more of me, completely at peace, um, just glowing, radiating love and light, no proving myself. I just move in spirit. That's what I am just basking in right now. Completely self-assured because I'm not trying to prove anything. Hi, Anna. Welcome. I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm not trying to draw attention to myself. I'm just at ease. What is your picture in the quantum field? so good in here and now when you get a grasp on what it is that you're feeling Mary I'd love to hear what what your experience is in the quantum field today what you're bringing in um, and we just bask in this feeling all day long it's and we are acting like this person would be acting we are eating like this person would be eating we are dressing like this person would be dressing. We're actually calling it in. It's profound. And in the quantum field, you actually are one with it. Right now, Rosa Maria, I'd love to hear what you're um, feeling in the quantum field today. And Anna, you too, I would love to hear what is what is what is being desired what is being desired because right now because time is collapsed you are it now you are it now and all it is is a feeling anyway you want the thing because you think the thing will give you something that you desire What is that thing? I'd love to see. Say it. Believe it. Then let it go. Power seems really high right now. Very nice. Very nice, Mary. Yeah, I'm just completely basking in this person. And, you know, when we were little, we used to pretend all the time. And that's the magic. To just go back to pretending. Just pretend you're already that person. Because you actually are. You actually are. You actually are that person. Sunshine in a nice beach. Oh, yes. So this is what makes all your dreams come true. Just basking in this good feeling. And then you keep this vision with you all day long. That's the magic. I'll be right back. You guys hang in there. Honesty, if you're still on, I'd love to hear what, what you're desiring in the quantum field. And Anna, I would love to hear what you're desiring in the quantum field. Go ahead and drop it in the comments. When I come back, I can read them.
Stacy, good morning. Okay. Well, I think we've got our 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 goodie bag for all day, all week. Um, just stay in this place of this vision of you and just be that future vision of you. Just be it now because you already are it now. If you can if you can imagine it, if you can feel it, you already are it. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Who do we want to draw from today? Angel Therapy, Mary, Queen of Angels, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, Archangel Michael, or Rebecca Campbell. I'm thinking Archangel Michael. This card deck. I love this picture. It's supposed to be a picture of Michael. Well, that was fast. I think I'm going to keep going. Another one, another one. Okay, call this one it. Keep going, keep going. Hmm. This is good. It says, admit the truth of your, to yourself and then go forward. Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. Mm, it's a unicorn. A unicorn in there. My prayer. I appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Thank you, Arch Archangel Michael for giving me courage and strength. Let's see what the card says. I mean, what the book says. What does it admit? Admit. You've drawn this card because there's an important feeling that you've been trying to ignore. As earth angels, that's really easy for us to do. Yet, try as you might to push it aside this feeling urges you to be honest with yourself. Archangel Michael says that facing this truth will be healing and it will give you the direction and guidance you seek. You've tried to disregard your inner urging because you're worried about making life changes. Archangel Michael reassures you that he's guiding you and making sure that your needs are met and your relationships stay healthy. Possible specific meanings. Heal or leave an unhealthy situation. Don't compromise. Face your fears. Hold loving thoughts about yourself and this situation. Prayer. I appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me courage and strength. Hi, Dee. So I forgot to say where you can register for the workshop. It's at LorrainePurcell.com forward slash emotional freedom. I'll put that in the comments here. Lorraine, P-U-R-S-E-L-L dot com forward slash E-M-O-T-I-O-N-A-L-F-R-E-E-D-O-M. LorrainePurcell.com forward slash emotional freedom for to register for answer the 
call. Hearing what your oops, soul invites you to do. Workshop next Saturday. Five sixteen twenty. Um, yeah, so right now it's more than half off. Um, early bird ends Wednesday. So if you, that is talking to you, um, invite you to, this would be the best time to do it as far as finances go. You're welcome to register after uh, Wednesday, but it's happening this Saturday and uh, you don't have to attend live. You'll be getting the video link as part of my community. And you just are never the same after these three hour deep dives. I just basically channel source the whole time and um, I just know it's going to be good. They always are. Okay, so um, I'm feeling like that's it for me today. And I just love and appreciate you. I'll see you tomorrow morning for the meditation and Wednesday for the Global Light and Love Vigil. Remember, every single day from 8 to 8.30, I am here at facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA for the meditation, the 30 minute daily meditation. It's pretty awesome. So if you haven't done that yet, come on and join us. Go ahead and put me on your calendar. Do this for yourself to just get grounded to yourself every single morning for just that half hour. It's, it's amazing. It really is. So um, I'm inviting you to put me on your calendar and show up with me every single morning. So that's 8 to 8.30 Eastern AM at facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA. And for more of my work, you can get my free ebook at three keys to self love.com. The number three keys like you put in your car to self love.com. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I'm sending you so much love. Stay in this space in the quantum field today, all day long. Hold your dream with you. Just feel it as if you're doing it all day long. This is using quantum mechanics for you, not against you. Okay. See you next time. <laughs> bye bye.